guys what's going on it is dylan back again with another dji mavic pro tutorial video and today we are going to continue to stay in the third party app known as lychee and we are going to be doing a second waypoints video in lychee i've already done one waypoints video in lychee which i will link at the end of this video this is a version 2 or an advanced waypoint uh, tutorial video inside a lychee because there's even more cool stuff you can do with waypoints other than just pre-programming the exact route that it's going to take you can also start throwing in points of interest while your drone is on its waypoint mission and that's what we are going to do today this is very 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 cool stuff and so without any further ado let's get into it first thing you probably notice is we have a big black screen here we got a red background with white lettering that says disconnected at the top yeah that's what's cool about litchi you can go ahead and pre-program your waypoints and so let's just get into it guys let's do it up in the upper left hand corner you will see the litchi icon and an fpv let's tap on that it's going to bring up our menu first one under fpv waypoint that's what we're here for so let's zoom out here and let's set up our waypoints okay so before we start setting up waypoints i want to explain to you guys again what we're going to do here that's going to make this an advanced waypoint tutorial so we can actually add points of interest that we can have our drone focus on while the drone is on its waypoint mission so what i like to do when i know i'm going to have points of interest while using waypoints i like to set my points of interest first and you can have one point of interest you can have 15 points of interest let's do about let's do three points of interest just to make this a real good um, tutorial video so first things first let's see what do i want my first point of interest to be okay I'm going to make my first point of interest be the baseball field. So before we tap or do anything, if you will look on my map, the, there's the black box down in the lower right corner. Look above that and you'll see a line of buses. That's a bus barn. Look right above that and you'll see a white pin with a yellow X. Let's tap on that. And now let's tap where we want our first point of interest to be. I'm gonna click right about on the pitcher's mound of the baseball field. So we have that point of interest set. Now you'll notice that a three pops up above that. What that three signifies, is that a word signifies? What that three is all about is that is the height of this point of interest. So it's ground level, it's a baseball field, just gonna keep it at three. And this is important because when the drone's in the air, it calculates and knows how to uh, make the gimbal pitch or the camera pitch to where it is filming your point of interest at the right height So now let's zoom out Okay, now here's the football field and right here in this south end zone You see like a little some heavy-duty machinery there. There's actually a brand new white building Well, it's been there about a year now Google uh, Maps just hasn't updated yet There's a building there and that's gonna be our second point of interest So while we have that that pin drop with the yellow cross on it let's go ahead and tap right there i know where it is and this building's a little taller it's probably anywhere from 30 to 50 feet high so i'm just gonna call it we're just gonna call it about 37 feet just gonna call that good okay so as you can see we have our two point of interest let's do one more what do we want our third point okay let's make our third point of interest be this cul-de-sac here and then we're just going to tap right on the middle of it and again we're just going to keep it cool with three because it is ground level okay so now that we have set all three of our um, points of interest we are going to actually set our waypoints aka our path that we want our drone to take so and remember guys we don't even have the drone connected we'd just be wasting battery in the drone right now and i don't have my remote turned on either i'm just here on my iphone 7 plus so now we need to tap on that blue pin with the yellow cross to get out of you know dropping point of interest mode now when we tap wherever we tap that's going to be a waypoint that we drop so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start my waypoint right about here above these tennis courts and by default it always sets to 98 feet high let's just call that good okay 
Now we're not going to interact with these waypoints yet. Right now we're just doing the path that we want the drone to take. So I'm going to fly my drone straight to the west, right about in there. And let's actually have it go up in altitude, the drone itself. Let's have it go up to about 170 feet. Okay. And then let's have the drone fly over this parking lot. And let's have it go back down to about 98 feet around in there. Okay, now what path do we want the drone to take? Let's have it go up here and let's have it go up. Let's have it go clear up to about 234 feet. And then let's go right around in here whoops i accidentally clicked on the things go right around here for our fifth point and let's have the drone go back down in altitude to about 98 feet again around in there okay so there are our five waypoints now guys you will notice these little uh cyan uh turquoise whatever you want to call it these little lines what those are is those are curves so instead of when the drone's flying in its path instead of it you know going and making a hard right turn or a hard left turn it'll actually uh go in a curve and that's a setting that i'll i'm fixing to show you guys so okay just to review real quick just to kind of look back we have set our three interest points set the heights on them and we've set our five points for our waypoints and we've set the heights on them now do you see over on the far left, you see the four white icons, the third one down, the little tablet or phone with the blue, light blue sprocket. We're gonna tap on that. Now we have mission settings, okay? So let's just keep this on custom on the heading since we're doing you know points of interest. And then finish action. This is whenever it's done, what do you want your drone to do? I want it to return to home aka i want it to come back to me where i'm at okay you can do you have options there you can see them now path mode that's where those blue light those cyan or turquoise lines come in i was telling you about we're going to keep it on curved turns curved turns okay then cruising speed um you can either set a default cruising speed you want your drone to go the whole time or you can change the speeds between each waypoint um, but let's just go ahead and put this cruising speed. Let's do this relatively quickly. Eh, it's not to get too crazy. Let's go about 19 miles an hour. Why not? Now, max flight speed. I always just put that at about what I do for the cruising speed. Let's just put it at 20. Default curve size. Those curves, those blue cyan turquoise curves, you can make them bigger if you want. I'm going to keep them at 75%. And then our default gimbal pitch mode. We want to, if you want to control your gimbal and the pitch of your camera while you're on your waypoints, you want to put that on disabled. But since we are going to have our camera point at these points of interest that we set, those three point of interest, we want to keep it on focus POI. Now, rotations direction, let's just keep that on manage. Now, bottom right, you see the little arrow for next. We're going to tap it. Now it's taking us to our first waypoint. You can see there our altitude is 98 feet. And then speed, use cruising speed, that means it's going to stay at that 19 miles an hour between 1 and 2. So let's just keep it there. But guys, just know you could have your drone go 30 miles an hour from 1 to 2. And then from 2 to 3, you could have it go 6 miles an hour. And then from 3 to 4, you could have it go 18. But we're just, so that's cool. But we're just going to keep it how it is. The heading, um, we're just going to keep it where it's at. And it's okay so here is the cool thing rotation we'll just keep that on clockwise now point of interest when we're at waypoint one heading to waypoint two which of those three point of interest do we want the camera focusing on and looking at well i'm going to want it on one when you tap on it look those three points of interest come up so i'm going to have it stay on one okay and then we're just going to leave the gimbal pitch angle alone and then we are going to hit next which will take us to waypoint two settings we're going to scroll up we've already set the altitude we're going to leave the speed alone we're going to leave the curve size alone heading alone point of interest let's see here let's go ahead and have it stay on waypoint one even at the second one okay then we're going to scroll down and we're going to hit next now scroll back up for waypoint three we're going to keep everything the same 
except for a point of interest we're going to put it on two which was that white new building that wasn't quite showing up in the maps yet because google google maps isn't updated we'll have it switched to that and then we're going to go ahead and go to next and then on this next one we're going to waypoint four let's go ahead and have it switch to way, uh point of interest three which was that cul-de-sac and then we're going to go ahead and click next leave everything alone then on waypoint five we will have it continue to stay on that cul-de-sac at number three so now we are done we're going to hit the x so there is what we have set up guys and you're basically going to tell the drone hey do your thing and your hands are off the controller and of course anytime you panic or something starts going wrong you can hit the stop button and take manual control of your drone back but now this is pretty cool too so far left of the screen four white icons see the floppy disk do you guys know what floppy disks are if you're young you may not even know about the uh, three and a half millimeter floppy disk or the what was it a five and a quarter but anyways we're not let's we're not going to go there but anyways we're going to click on that which means save and i'm going to call this test just test and then okay so now i am actually going to turn on my remote and turn on the drone and we're going to wait for it to connect and we gotta wait for it to do its thing and uh, make sure that we get a home point very important stuff always want to have your home point marked folks Connecting the satellites, doing all that complex, cool stuff that these things do. At the top, we have a green background. Now we are waiting for it to get off of Opti and GPS. And then you can see the drone mark down there where we are. So we have our home point set. Now, check it out, guys. We're just going to hit the play button. Far left, bottom white icon, the play button. Start mission. Do you want to start the mission now? Of course we do. So uploading mission, the drone is flying up and it's going to go to waypoint one, which is over the tennis courts, as you can see here. And there it goes. It's going to waypoint one. I'm gonna go ahead and toggle mode. Let's click, make sure we're in focus. There we go. And now, see there, the, it, it automatically, the camera pitch, the gimbal went down. And remember, our first point of interest was the baseball field. So as you can see, it is going on its path here to the baseball field. And anytime time, you can toggle in between these and you can watch. So it's on the path, but let's click back to this one so we can see everything. Guys, remember, neither one of my thumbs are on either stick. The drone is flying itself and doing all this on its own. Now it's heading to the second, the third waypoint, and we told it to stay focused on number one. Oh, I wish I would have known they had softball practice before I took off. Thankfully, I'm not going right over the softball field. But anyways, it's staying focused on number one. And we are getting there. And then when it gets to the third waypoint here it's going to switch to this second waypoint which is that white building that's coming into the screen so we are almost to waypoint three as a matter of fact i can't remember we are may already have it uh going on number three so now i believe it's going to shift to that cul-de-sac let's see here Yes, as you can see, the tip of the nose of the drone is looking towards that cul-de-sac. So I'm going to go back here. And then we are almost to waypoint four. There's the cul-de-sac. And it's going to take this flight right south of the cul-de-sac and it should stay on it. So let's see how good it does. And 
it may not quite be perfect. Look at it, it's a little off, but it's still pretty cool. I wish it would have worked a little bit better than that. GPS may be off. There's our cul-de-sac right there. And anyways, we're gonna to toggle back to here and we're almost at waypoint five. Then it's gonna be done and it is going to return to home. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure as always to smash that thumbs up button and also please be sure to subscribe as I will continue to have more DJI Mavic Pro tutorial videos upcoming in the future. As always, I enjoyed it. This is Dylan. Everybody have a fantastic day.